Otani steps up to the plate the ninth inning in one of the best back-and-forth baseball games I've seen in a while. Semi-final of the World Baseball Classic. Japan is down one run. Otani's at the plate. First pitch is out. Away, he doesn't care, sends it into right center field, gets on his horse, rips the helmet off onto second, and he's going to come up standing, screaming at his teammates, come on, come on. Now that pitch, there's two things about this pitch that I want to talk about. One, Gallego should have never thrown it because it's his third best pitch. He throws it 5% of the time in the regular season. Otani, make him beat you on your best pitch, not your third best pitch. That being said, it's a nice pitch that Otani turns on. It's a changeup high. It's going away, probably called a ball, and Otani just attacks it. Basically said, put it near the zone, and I'm hitting the double and getting my team going here. That is a nice piece of hitting it. But I think if Otani beats you, you're not going to want him to beat you on your third pitch that you throw 5% of the time. Next up, newest Red Sox, Yoshida, and he's going to take ball one, take ball two, take ball three. Then there was a strike, and then take ball four, take his base, say, your turn, your turn, buddy. Now, this kid was nicknamed Babe Ruth in Japan because he hits a ton of homers. Where's 55 on his back because of Matsui? And they got a pinch runner who looks at Otani and says, I'm coming for you, dude. I'm going to chase you down. First pitch, fastball. Oh, he wanted that one. He's like, oh, throw that again. Slider down, nice pitch, but he says, throw me that fastball again. Throw me that fastball again. Thank you very much. That was a little higher than the first one. I liked it a lot. Off the wall, Otani scores, and the pinch runner scores right behind him and then does a great 180 spin to helmet toss. We got to watch that again. So Otani had to watch the ball to see if it was going to be in the in the alley or not, but the pinch runner he had a great read. I mean, Otani touches the plate here, and that dude touches the plate right behind him. Crazy speed and a good read on the ball. And then he's going to go 180 fist pump slide. You can't teach that. Watch this. Really take it in. He's sliding. He scores. Okay. He leads with the left hand. I'm going up now. Fist pump, 180 spin, the helmet's off and in the air right away. You can't teach that. It's perfect. It's perfect walk-off slide. And then they go celebrate with the Babe Ruth guy. We got a double water bottler behind him. I love that. I love a double water bottler. But I like, I like, I like the double fist screaming at the heavens. Ah! 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 You <laughs> look at him screaming in the pile. I think he doesn't realize he's surrounded by his teammates. I think this is a celebration for him and him alone, and he's just going double fist ah, 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 to the heavens, just in the zone. And he was actually pretty chill, look, rounding the bases, just kind of watching it. Is it going to be a homer? Is it going to be off the wall? I think he thinks it's going to be a homer. Oh, it's going to be off the wall. Is he going to score? Okay, great. Look at my hair. It's beautiful. Mess it up with some water. Let's get to screaming. And here he is. And, yeah, there's one water bottle, and then there comes the double water bottler right here. Bam. And he gets some good, number 33. Both streams, get some in motion. You Darvish is behind him, and then a coach is going to come onto your screen top left with just, there he is. Look at that smile. Ah. Oh, my God. That is a proud and happy smile from that coach. Oh, man. And then this guy crying big old fan that was an awesome awesome game team japan thanks the fans for coming out and they thank them for putting on a show they're playing team usa in the championship tomorrow whoa